I just paid over $2,000 for this abandoned storage unit. I loaded up a truckload and I brought it home. Well, we're gonna start going through these boxes for the first time together. Why would I pay so much money on a storage unit I didn't even know was inside? Let me explain something to you. Public storage has a website where you can see the names of the people who's losing their unit. There's only one 10 by 15 unit in the area. I looked that person up. They are a very, very high end real estate agent with a net worth of over $5 million. Woo! So multi-millionaire. Let's go through these boxes. Look at this box we found the other day when I was loading the truck up. Tiffany shade, if you don't know, those things could be worth in the hundred thousands of dollars or a few thousand, but either which way, they could be worth a ton of money. And that's just on the box. We don't know if it's in there or not, but let's start pulling out this box right here and see oh, what we got. All I did was load the truck up. I haven't looked at anything, opened anything, gone through anything. All we did was get a truckload. And the crazy thing is, we didn't even make a dent in that unit. Not even a dent. So let's go into this unit first. All right, this box first, I mean. Part one, okay. bamboo, bath mat. Bamboo, bath mat. Okay. okay, that's actually new in box. That's not bad. Look at all the new stuff. I know, there's a lot of, oh, this is new too. What the heck? What's in here? This is a little bag. What are these little things in there? I don't, I don't even, even know. know. Huh, uh, make joyful discoveries, but that doesn't really tell me what it is. Okay. okay. There's a bottom part. Does, is it? Oh, there's another section. Oh, what? Uh, nothing, I don't know what that is really, but something. Let's see, these are all brand new too. These are all drawer organizers too. Look at that, one pack, uh, two packs. Do they have a price tag on them? No, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six packs, brand new right here. You know what I'm gonna do today? Huh. I'm gonna bring out my phone so that I can scan stuff, barcodes, and just see. I don't think these are gonna be expensive. I'm saying maybe 10 bucks. But let's see on eBay. Twelve ninety nine is what they sell for. So twelve ninety nine. We just pulled out six of them. That's already over sixty bucks right there. This is another little organizer. These are organizers. Organizers. Ooh, a big box at the bottom. That's interesting. I can't lie. Let's see. What is this first? Nothing. Okay. It probably goes in the bottom of the organizer. Oh yeah, you're probably right. This does it have something in there? A uh, little bit of makeup at the bottom. So this might have been a makeup thing at one point. What about this one here? That one's completely empty. So those are good yard sale items. Let's see what's in here, then we'll open up the big box. Okay. This got a tag on it too, so this might be new. Bare Essentials, that's what it says. Uh, I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. Uh, and I don't know if I don't know if it's new or not. I don't know, maybe it's a makeup bag? That would be my guess. Let's set it right here. But let's go into the box, in the box, right here. and see what that is. Oh. This box here has it. Ugh. Um, oh wow. Hangers. Hangers, just for you. And something else actually. Two packs of brand new hangers, but it's those nice like rich people hangers, you yep. know? Those and whatever that thing is right here. Not too sure on that guy. There it is, what does it say? Oh, a garment bag. Oh, a garment bag, nice. That's a pretty good start. Let's go to this box here. This one says fragile tall glass vases. The vase could be from the dollar store or it could be from the Ming Dynasty and be worth a million dollars. You know what I mean? That's so random, Ming Dynasty. I think I just read a story not long about, about somebody finding one from the Ming Dynasty at a Goodwill. Oh. That's why it was on my head. Let's see what's in this box though. Oh, there we go. Paper! Where are the vases? Where are the vases? I want to see the vases because if it is, that means what's written on the box is actually what's in there. That would be a good thing. Let's see. Come out. Come out. Well, that's not a vase. That's a makeup mirror. Oh my gosh, that's way too close up to my face. Well, it has the zoom on the one side, like a hot, uh, hotel one. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, here we go. That looks like it's gonna be a big vase right here. It's wrapped in bubble wrap and in paper. Let's see if it has anything on it. It looks like just a piece of glass. Yeah, it doesn't even have a brand on it or anything. Just a flower, hot problem. Let's see a little deeper. What about this big guy here? Uh, open up, open up. And this one looks like love, but still, not like a Ming Dynasty type base, just a flower base. You get with like Valentine's Day or something. Let's see what else is buried down here. There's something smaller here. Is this a candle? Feels like a candle. Please, uh, just a mason jar. Yeah. Little mason jar with no top though. What about further in? Uh, this guy? Let's see. I'm gonna open it up. Okay, this one's just generic glass too, so. I'm gonna assume that all the vases in here are generic glass. Let's make sure I don't see anything else that doesn't look like a vase. That's another one of these, another one of these. 
You can actually see it here. Yeah. The rest of it's just generic glass. So this is probably 10 bucks at the yard sale. Let's go to the next box here. By the way, this whole unit pretty much organized this nicely in boxes. Love ones like that. And a couple boxes I've seen the little labels on there where the professional movers move them. So I know a company moved this. Now let's get the tape off of it really quick. Should have brought a knife. I'm literally sitting in my garage and still don't have a knife because ugh, it makes things way too easy. So let's get this off and then get this off. And in here is, this looks like kitchen-y stuff. Well, let's see what kind of kitchen-y stuff. This is what? Just a little, <laughs> just a store stuff in. Little storage container for the kitchen, basically. What are the bigger things? That's what I'm curious about. Like this. What is that guy right here? Looks like a food processor or something. Let's see. Uh, I think that might be what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, it has the blades and stuff in it's there. It's new. Yeah, the blades haven't even been used. Why is everything new? It's kind of weird when you buy units like that. A lot of new stuff. Oh, look. Ninja cooking system, a little bag. Is this a Ninja, actually? Because if it is, it's expensive. Ninja stuff is not cheap. Uh, let's see. Does it have a brand on it? Cooks Essentials. So, yeah. yeah, not Ninja. But still, I imagine it's still got some good value to it. Paper, paper, paper. What's this down here? <laughs> okay, this is heavy, whatever it is. Let's find out. Oh, this is ooh, this is a dry sealer, isn't it? Food saver. Look at that. Push the vacuum seal. I know these are pretty expensive. I bought the cheapest one at Walmart not long ago. It was like 60 bucks. So that one looks a lot nicer than that one. I bet you it's over 100 bucks. But it might go in our kitchen because we need it. This one here is just the top to that thing. Yeah, this is Probably. definitely a food processor. And it's like I said, this is literally new. I might put this kitchen stuff on whatnot. Why not, right? It's new, right? It seems weird, but who doesn't cook? Us. <laughs> yeah, us. us. Uh, electric mandolin? Quick smart guy, that's more pieces for that thing. This thing's got a whole bunch of stuff with it. So, you guys let me know in the comments. Should I auction this stuff that's new for the kitchen? I'm sure there's people out there that want to buy it. And I started at a dollar too, because I'm a psycho. Here's food saver bags and everything. So yeah, this is all really nice kitchen stuff. I guarantee it's probably at least 200 bucks right there. Next one here, public storage. By the way, I just looked at that food saver. On Amazon, it's like 150 bucks. On their website, it's $200. So probably $100 on that sucker too. Let's see, let's go to this guy here. We got a knife. <laughs> let's see. We upgraded. What's in here? Yep. Uh, let's see, first off, this, oh, this is one of those things like a laptop. These are actually really useful, especially like the way we use travel a lot, edit on the road and stuff. I'm gonna have to keep that. Remember yeah, right. one of those last road trips? Yeah, the only ones that we could find were like second and Charles and they were like 50 bucks. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not paying 50 bucks for it. I'm cheap. Let's see what this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't really know what this is. We're about to find out. There's a really interesting looking case right here. Mm. Let's see, I'm just gonna break the plastic because they tied it so tight, there's no other way to get into it. What is in here? This first. What is this? Uh, it has legs on the bottom. Is it just like another workstation? It? I have no idea. Now you set this up, it's like a little tray. That's my only guess. But why has it got like ridges know. here and like a mouse maybe fold a lot? Oh, yeah. Mouse pad. mouse pad right here. Yeah. That might have helped. Thinking always helps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got tray. These are all trays. <laughs> this isn't. There's just a random gift box in there for a million dollars. Uh, oh, secret file. White House document. Secret files. See what was in there? It was a Hillary email. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, there's another tray here, another tray here, and this basket here. That's really nice. It's too big, or I would definitely sell that on whatnot, but it's more yard sale stuff. This, oh look, little Christmas display. This is all really good yard sale stuff. Next one here. This one has like a whole plethora of stuff listed in there. It has a computer listed in there. There's not, unless it's a laptop, there's no desktop in here. Unless it's super light. Well, let's see what it is. Slice and dice. Well, paper, paper, paper. That the heck is, is that? a conversion table. Okay. okay. So maybe it holds like measuring cards or something. But look. A mandolin or mandoline yeah. slicer, also new in box. This person had a lot of new stuff. You know, she was a real estate agent. If this is the person's unit I'm thinking it is, which it almost has to be, maybe it's staging houses. That'd maybe other point. stuff could be used for. That's my guess. But let's see here. Uh, this is nothing, just a box or something. What about in here? 
Come here, you. Uh, milk jug? A pitcher. A pitcher, yeah. Let's see. Ooh, this is heavy. What is that? Oh my gosh. What is this? What is it? Like a sugar jar or something? No, oh, it's coming out the top. It's what? It's not coming out the top. What's in here? Well, there's some bags. Compost. Compost? That's what it says. Uh, okay. But there it is. If you need some compost. I don't know why you would. Maybe you're trying to get your farming level up. I don't know. In here is... What the heck is this? Come here. Maybe there's stuff people would actually take out of their kitchen and put in there to then make, like, compost. Maybe. This is just a glass jar top to something. What's in these white boxes here? You see, there's two of these, but they're just completely unmarked. No clue or hint of what's in there. Whatever it is, it's brand new again. This is... What the heck is it? Like a... No idea. There's a measuring thing? I don't know. Come out. Come out. It's not coming out. Come here. Ugh. There. I don't know. It looks like at the well, bottom it looks like a tote. But yeah. at the top it looks like something different. Look at this. Little button on it and stuff. I don't know. This is beyond beyond my pay grade. Um, higher kitchen technology. Yeah, I buy stuff we're from, used to. My kitchen stuff comes from used storage units, Walmart, and Dollar General. Not this kind of stuff. We have that super nice kitchen with all cheap stuff in it. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Another one of the same exact things. Not sure what they are. Maybe somebody can help me down in the comment section. What is this wrapped up here? Open up you. Oh, that's a vase or something. Or a wax melter, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, this looks like it's got a light in it. Probably goes right there. Fancy. Yeah, look at that. This definitely looks like something if you go to like Zillow to look for a house. This would be sitting on the table. Like, that's definitely the vibe it's giving me right now. Um, let's see, anything else in here? There's one more item right here, which is, uh, well, good grips. What is that for? An oven thermometer? Okay. And then this little thing here, which is, what is it's it? Wrapped around the box. Huh? It's wrapped, lay it under the wire. Okay, I was trying to slide it, it wasn't working. What is that then? Is it a scale? Is it? A little tiny scale? There is a little instruction manual with it. This is a temperature scale digital read thermometer. Um, it's a thermometer. That's a thermometer? A scale and a thermometer, I think. That is some advanced kitchen technology <laughs> here. Hmm, nice stuff. Check out this vacuum right here. So I just looked up the model number. And look at that. It's $500 at Walmart. Do you know how crazy and psycho you have to be to spend $500 on a vacuum cleaner? That is just wild, but hey, I'll take it, and I'm sure somebody will want to buy it. You think that's going to have a Tiffany shade in it right there? Yes. You better leave the video a thumbs up right now. If enough of you don't, it's not going to be in there, and then I'm going to believe you. It's going to be your fault, so. Don't we'll do that. We'll get to that eventually. Don't do that, yeah. Leave it like. wrong? What the heck is this? Ceram wrap like this. Hmm. Let me get a knife. Let's find out. Stab. Watch me just destroyed it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Let's see. I didn't even get to the ceram wrap yet alone, whatever it was. There we go. What is this thingy? Uh, Can't wait to get it open to find out. I know. I'm just trying to look at it. I keep looking at it, trying to figure out like what the heck it is. Okay, so it accordions out. We figured yeah. that much out. We got. We, we're doing step by step here. This is uh, like a file organizer, maybe. That would be stand. Mine. What? Like, hold it and stand it up. It says top front right here, so. What the heck? What in the world is this thing? I have no idea. I, uh, <laughs> it has a tag here. What does it say? <laughs> oh, yeah, so it has a plain white tag. Look, look at all wow. the uh, great information on it. That's so helpful. Uh, comments, please? Nope. This box says shoes slash blue room. What is, ooh, what is the blue room? That just sounds like <laughs> scary a little bit. Let's see what the blue room is. Open up. First, let's see if there's even shoes in here. So far, it's been pretty accurate, the labels have, so yeah. I'm liking it. I'm definitely liking our professionally chances. Professionally packed. Yeah, it definitely was. I'm liking our chances with the Tiffany shade. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. That is a lot of shoes. Shoe boxes. Mm -hmm. Are there shoes in here? Let's see. La Leanna Apollo. Do they have price tags on them? They have a barcode. They are in there, and they, I can't tell if they're new. If they're not, they've been worn very lightly, maybe once. 
Let's see, a lot of the dress shoes I can't get to show up when I scan them, but I'm gonna try anyway, because if you don't try, the answer is always no, right? Right. Let's see if I can pull up eBay, barcode scanner, doink, nothing. I don't know why, I can never get dress clothes to show up, but they're in the box, that's good. These ones are right here, do they have a price tag going on? No, look what it says here. Something Jazz Fest, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were used for. Anne Marino, that's Dan Marino's wife. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're in there. There's another pair right here. They're also in there, literally like new. Nice. It's crazy. That's three pairs. Of Man, there's a lot in here too. Well, those are in there. These are definitely not new, but it's just a little bit of dirt. There's no damage to them whatsoever, so that's good stuff. What about these guys? What does that say? BCBG Paris. Brand new in there. Nothing, never worn. This pair. Uh, how's it open? It's a weird box. Uh, uh slide. slides. There you go. These brand new as well. Chinese laundry. I think they might have been worn once. There's a little bit of dirt on it, but no damage again. Whoever owned it took really good care of it. Proxy, right here. Uh, it just has brown turquoise on the side. Well, it's brown. I don't see turquoise, but look at that shine it's on like them. dining room table. It says made in Spain in there. <laughs> That's all it says. That's a $55 price tag on it. At least that one, $53.97, has some kind of price tag on there to let us have an idea what they're worth. Can anybody match their dining room table? I feel like at least one person can. Yes. These have a $40 tag on them, Liz Claiborne. At least I've heard of that brand. Those are new in the plastic still. That's good stuff. Then we got these. Me too. They're not new, but they're in there. Price tag, no. But another pair of shoes. And then what about the Karen Scotts? They are also mm -hmm. in there. Brand new, yeah, brand new. Those are, and these ones right here, maybe worn once, just dirt, but no damage. How many new pairs of shoes, or how many total pairs of shoes is that? One, one two, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pairs. Say if they sell for ten bucks a piece, very low end. That's still one hundred and ten dollars in that box. So this is a wardrobe box. It usually has like clothes hanging in there, and oh, I think these boxes, if you buy them from this public store, cost like over ten bucks. So. You're not gonna buy this for, you know, crap clothes. Let's see. It definitely doesn't look like crap clothing to me, does it? No. This looks like really just fancy pants stuff. Like this right here. That has tags on it. That has tags on it, look at that. That's brand freaking new. Does it have a price tag on it though? That's the extra button. This is um, Jerry or Terry Lewis, classic, luxurious. Brand spanking new. That's a good start. <laughs> Let's see, what about Conor McGregor looking cheetah fur uh pamela mccoy i know nothing about designer or clothes so i'm just reading it in case you guys watching know because i sure don't <laughs> what about this guy again for uh rachel zoe rachel zoe i don't see tags on it but still this feels like fur fur mm. that doesn't feel like the does it have um fur. does it have like a tag on the inside you know it says like the wash information or maybe like what it's made that. of Let's see, uh, no, just polyester lining. Oh, okay. it's fox fur. Dang it, well, I don't know the difference. <laughs> yeah. this, what the heck was that? This guy, look at this. That looks comfy, a little yeah. stained on the front, but. A little bit, Dennis Basso. Dennis Basso. Okay, this is the, probably the worst. I'm gonna set this one aside because it's actually dirty. These are like all either new or clean. This one here, leather, oof. That's the Terry or Jerry Lewis again. Little leather one right here. Guarantee that's worth some money. Man, all this leather. Leather is just so easy sales. Another one. Huh. Is it Terry or Jerry? I don't know. Me neither. What about this one? Is that another one? Yep, look at that. Three, four of the same brand. If they're worth like 20 bucks a piece, then man. Ooh, look at that. That looks super nice as well. Dennis Basso. Dennis Basso. Nice fur on the side. I think one fell off in here. Come here. Uh, look at this. That looks like real fur to me. Yeah, it does. This is um, the Rachel Zoe brand again. We want to look for an inside tag like this. Let's see. Uh, nope, fox fur. Hmm. Dang. I keep saying like fox instead of fox, but it does look like it could be like, it looks like giraffe if I picked an animal, honestly. A what, giraffe? Giraffe, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. Hey man, I think your first storage unit pick is gonna be a really good one. So far we're finding some really good stuff. Like you that. feel good about that? I just wanna say thank you for all the help, dude. I really do. Do you want the black bag or another U-Haul box? Box. Box, all right, let's see. Whoa, it's heavy. This one set, blue room shoes, again. 
There's no way there's just two full boxes of shoes. Okay, yes way, there is two full boxes of shoes. We found, these are 70 bucks by the way, and those are in there in perfect shape. I don't think they've been worn before. This is crazy. Look at this. Uh, more, wow. Those have been worn before, but wow. still. This is insane. Everything we find, you know how we do it. We'll be on WhatNot eventually for $1. So make sure you follow us on WhatNot and use our link to sign up, because why not? You get $15 free dollars and it helps us out too. So might as well help us both. That's one, two, three, four. Let's see. Five, I'm not even gonna take them all out. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 boxes again. Again, if they all sell super cheap for $10, it's still 100 bucks again. This box has large gold saucers on it, so hey, they better mean actual gold too. I'm not talking gold tone. I want actual gold, <laughs> gold right? Tone. No, no, we don't, we don't want that. We want real gold. Come on, let's see. Open up. It is Come on, real gold. This, this is what I bought it for, right here. Yes, that that's what it's all about. Wow. That thing, Christmas tin. So far, this is a yard sale box. Oh, paper. Oh, there it is. That's what it is. Oh, there's two of them. Let's see, they even have brands on them. They don't have a brand on it. It's right here, actually. It's um, Chris Madden Home Collection. 50 bucks, there it is, right there, $50. I don't Thank know. They both have $50 price tags on them. So hey, that's $100 right there. I'm not even usually a person that'll go through clothes, but when they're all like on hangers and high end nice jackets and stuff, I kind of have to, because it's so much money just in clothing. Like look at these pieces like this. Like that thing is not gonna be cheap. Dennis Basso. Yeah, they like their brand, huh? They really do. It's like really nice though. Like, I guarantee they're pre-owned. They're at least $20 a piece. That's low end. I know nothing about designer clothes. They're Clothes in general. I buy all my stuff at like Burlington. <laughs> Walmart. Walmart. This hoodie came from Walmart. Let's see what's in here. Uh, what is this right here? Larry Levine. Look at this. Huh. Nice. Money all day. This one here is, again, super nice. What? No brand. Oh, there it is. It's got a tag. I just got a button on it. Still. What is, brand nice. right here? What is it? Marvin Richards. Uh, that's what this one is too. Another Marvin Richards. Money all day. This is a bag, but I mean, it's more of a box. It's just something in the bag. Let's see what it is. No way, this is more shoes. Really? Really? Land's in. These don't have price, they have $30 price tag. They're not too expensive, but those are kind of dirty. But they're in there. One. Ooh, look at this box here. Why is this box like so vibrant? <laughs> Doesn't it? Like, mm -hmm. it's just really vibrant. White, those are brand spanking new in the plastic still. This is insane to me. Look at this guy here. Oh, get out, get out, get out. These are all Aldo. Aldo. They're gonna be like boots. Isn't that an expensive store? They're not too expensive, but they're not oh. cheap, I don't think. But look at that. Literally never worn, $100 right nice. there. They got them on sale for $100. So <laughs> literally brand freaking new shoes right there. This is so crazy. What is that one? What does that say? Bloomingdale's. I think that's another higher. Uh, it has a. No. I don't know. Let me I've see. I've heard it. of Bloomingdale's, but I don't know if it's high end or not. Phones right here. Let's take it out and let's see. Even though I said earlier, a lot of times they won't show up, but I'm still gonna try. No, it doesn't show up. I don't know, but they're in here for sure. And they might be. Look at that. Brand new. Brand freaking new. We are gonna be blowing stuff out on whatnot. Maybe not as crazy as we used to with Rolly, obviously, but we're still gonna be blowing stuff out. Bloomingdale's again. Look at that. Brand new. That is insane. This unit's gonna be worth easy 10,000, I think. As if this doesn't have a Tiffany shade in it. And, and don't forget also, we only took out maybe 10 to 15% of it max. You know what's kind of bothering me? Usually I always have found mail by now. Like I want something with this person's name so I can confirm for sure that this is the unit I think it is. This is this is their dry cleaner receipt. They pay three dollars to get a dry clean. But the brand on it is Herman K. There it is. That's why it looks all clean, even the used stuff, because they literally get a dry clean. I've never even been in a dry cleaner in my life. No. <laughs> I don't think I'd be welcome there if I went in there with my fourteen dollar Goku hoodie from Walmart. <laughs> hey, who you dry clean this for me? <laughs> Let's see what this is. This is from their brand Terry Lewis Luxuries. <laughs> Again, this one, man, it's just. Doesn't it just give you that vibe when you see it? Like, doesn't this just look like, you know, 
I'm gonna call your manager, like rich lady, with the hair and everything. It just, it just gives off the vibe. It just fits so perfectly. This is Michael Kors, by the way. That's nice. It just fits so perfectly. This right here is uh, Mark New York. No, that's a good brand as well. And there's one more coat in here, or two more. What is this one first? This is in plastic. I don't know if this is dry clean or this is brand new. It is, looks like it's brand new. This has never even been worn. No, it's got, it's Fever is the brand on it. It's got a tag right here, I see it. Fever, but it doesn't have a price on it. But this is definitely brand new with fur again. And then we have this Creations coat right here, just wild. So this bag's got clothes right here. And the first thing I saw were all these different tags, different pieces, all brand new by the way. This Pamela McCoy collection. So I just typed that into eBay. And the last two that sold, look at this. This is pre-owned, $80. Brand new, $140. And that's $80 pre-owned. And we have two pieces to whatever this is, what that brand is right here. At least, look. This one right here, Pamela McCoy. It's got the tag, got the extra buttons and everything. That's brand new. This is the other one. Try not to damage it too bad. Let's see, what is this one here? This is brand new as well, I think. Yeah, look. What is that one? Sandy Sarkman or Starkman? Brand new with tags again. This is freaking wild, man. <laughs> this is wild. This is gonna be worth so much money. Denise Basso, that's got tags too. Why do they have so much new stuff? Look at this. And this Dennis Basso, they've also had multiple coats on. Yeah, too. this is crazy. Oh, QVC style. Uh, is that where they came from? They one of those QVC people? That would make sense. Look at that. Pamela McCoy, brand new tags. This is just insane. This is gonna be a, what does that one say? Jerry Lewis or Terry Lewis. Brand new with tags as well, by the way. Under it, we got Red Flintstones thing. Nice. Doesn't it look like something from the Flintstones? Yeah. I don't really well, know what it is, a skirt? Yeah. That, and then this right here is, open up, open up. Come here, you know. Um, whoa, it's really fancy looking. It looks like something you wear under a suit. Like a vest, oh, it's a dress, Never mind. I didn't see the bottom. But the dress here, does it have a brand? Doesn't have a brand or tags that I see. I learned my lesson. This one is staying in the ceram wrap. I'm not going through that again. You're staying there and going to our yard sale pile. That was what, one of the accordion things? Yeah, one of those long accordion type things. This one, freaking joking. Blue room shoes. Blue room shoes again. How many pairs of shoes? Like, Am I the only one that just puts on a pair of shoes and wears it every day until it starts to fall apart? And once it starts to fall apart, okay, next. Like I have shoes in my closet that I got from Christmas like maybe 10 years ago. I, I don't get it. Holy crap. Look at that. That's insanity. This is insanity. Look at that. Are they new or, you know, this box looks a little dirty. They're worn, but not really. They're in really good shape. You can tell they dry clean stuff and things like that. There's one, two. Look over here. Three, these are all this Claiborne. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten this time. Why is this one about card case? We gotta see what this one is first. That's suspicious. Uh, these are just those, whatever that is. But still, another 10 pairs of shoes in the box. If you haven't left it a thumbs up, I'm gonna say again, yet yeah, you're crazy, because this unit's gonna be a banger all the way through. I'm trying to figure out what that says in English. Patreon? Patreon? I don't know, let's don't see know. what it is. Oh, come on, you stupid box. One little piece of tape. Thank you. <laughs> let's see, whoa, what the heck is all this? Are these bags? Bag? Are these purses that yeah. are new? Looks like purses to me. Holy crap! This lady is a straight hoarder. She's a straight like million. This is what happens when you're a millionaire, but you're also a hoarder. You don't ever <laughs> change the mindset. Like this is this is what happens. I wonder what are in those boxes. I don't know. We're about to find out. That's just a, a like a bag. drawstring bag. Yeah. yeah, that's nothing. But these little purses here. Look at this little red one right here. That is nice. That's a Samantha Brown bag. Is what it's called. The brand on it. Oh. Oh, you troller. <laughs> you know what? Uh, well, this is the Samantha Brown wallet design with great travel features. It's like a insert. You got me. Okay, I'll leave it in there. That's, that's a good insert. It. That's good marketing. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, that's a nice little bag as well. Put that over here. What about these? This is crazy. I, I'm going to change my mind. I think this is going to be a $20,000 unit. I think so. Little blue one here. Brand new. Inserts and everything. That's crazy. Samantha Brown. Whoa. Well, they put a 
I don't know why this USB is in here. This is not supposed to be in here, I don't think. No, yes it is. Samantha Brown Power Bank. Limited. So it comes with a power bank and a USB. It's brand new, but I've never seen a wallet come with a power bank and a USB. That is some high-end stuff right there. Yeah. That is so weird, but I'll take it. Let's see. Oh, look at these. That's gonna be nice, the find. The find. Ooh, look at that. That is just nice. There's tag right there. Brand spanking new in the dust jacket. Oh my, God. can you believe I almost backed out of this unit for $100? No, I not almost, now. <laughs> I almost gave it up because it went $100 too high. I would have been, I would have known, but I would have been so sad. We barely made a dent. Brand new with tags, or uh, not with tags, with paper inside. I don't see the tags. This one, brand spanking new. Does it have a brand name on it? I don't know. I don't see a brand name on it, but it's brand new. This guy here, what is this one? What does that say? Patricia, Patricia. Nash. Oh my God. $300. Brand new. That's what the top of the box said. Patricia Nash. That's, there you go. That's what the box said. Patricia Nash. This 300 bucks. Brand new. Patricia Nash also. I haven't been looking for chat. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This one right here uh, doesn't have a no, sticker. It's Patricia like, Nash. Yeah. Holy crap. This could be a thousand dollar box. Very easily. Very easily could be a thousand dollar box. Let's go to this one so right here. This one's $300. Yeah, what the heck is that one? That's Patricia Nash. I'm trying to look at all the price tags here. This says what color it is and stuff, but it doesn't say anything else. Is it new? Oh, oh. yes it is. Wow. Oh, that's that's got to be at least a few hundred dollars right here. Patricia Nash. Look at that. Oh, there's a tag. No price on it though, but oh my gosh. Wow. This unit is going to be a killer. <laughs> everything I've showed you plus everything it's still in the truck is about 10% of it. 10%. If that. If that, yeah. This is going to be a killer. Patricia Nash. Oh, yes, baby. Let's freaking go. Brand spanking new in here. Wow. Brand new. Wow, wow, this, wow, wow, wow. I wow. think this is a thousand dollar bag. Right I do. here? Just right here? I think so. This one right here, at least close if it's not. This is a Vera it's Bradley. Forty three dollars. Fifty four. Okay. Fifty four dollars. That I don't even know what to say, but wow, just wow. This bag, nice red coat, and brand new with the tags right here. This is my gosh. Right now, go down to the comments. Say this storage unit is awesome. And also leave another comment. I'm curious what your guess on the final profit will be once we're done with the whole thing. Because right now, I think we've already well made back our money. And this whole truck is only about maybe a little less than 10%, I'd say. And I think we're going to crush what we spent already. Brand spanking new right here. Cashmere Blazer. This is like in the one I showed in the second channel when I first opened the unit. Nice. Brand new. It's two of them. Literally new. This is crazy right now. This very well has the potential, all the potential in the world to be our best unit we've ever bought so far. They just, they're not like this very often. Uh, look at that. Marvin Richards, New York, brand freaking new with tags. This is crazy right now. Absolutely crazy. Here's another one. Look at that. Brand new with tags. Never taken out of the plastic. I mean, this is... I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm just in disbelief right now. I feel like you just take it out and you're like, wow. wow. Yeah, really. I just keep saying wow because that's all I could think of to say. Like, it's just wild. Bloomingdale. This one. Oh, it is new. I was about to say, is it new? Tags are right here. Literally new. Again, are all these new? Like, really? This is heavy duty, actually. This doesn't look like it. Oh, my gosh. Feel the inside of that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wish you could feel oh. it. I wish you could feel that. But I don't see a tag on this one right out the bat, but that says um, Styling Company. Okay. The size that ox. <laughs> this is like 0x, but like, yeah. what is that? A know. large? <laughs> I don't really know what that is. Styling Company again. Why is it so soft? I never felt a jacket that soft before as these are. <laughs> Same one. This one is brand new. Lens end. There's a button. Actually, that's a button. It's not a tag. It might not be brand new, but I'm pretty sure it will be. What the heck is going on with this unit? I got one more bag here. Then I'm going to the boxes back there. There's still plenty of boxes. We still haven't even opened the Tiffany box. That could be oh, pulling yeah. all this out the water, <laughs> man. This is brand new Valerie Stevens. 50 bucks on it. Price tag right there. Like she didn't buy nothing cheap. Nothing cheap. 
This is the problem with a lot of people when they, they get money and they start making money, but they never change like their mindset. You know what I mean? They're just blowing money like crazy and you start making more and you just start spending more. And that's why nobody accumulates wealth. That, that goat, that had a skirt with it earlier, right? That is, the one I said looked like Fred Flintstone? Yeah. Look at these. It's 150 bucks on sale for 90. This one is the top that was 50 bucks on sale. So this is probably a $200 suit that was on sale, say 100 bucks and whatever this thing right here is worth as well. And now let's go to another box. I'm interested to see what's in this one. It says miscellaneous non-essential. What does that mean? I mean, are all the jackets and purses essential? You I guess know what I mean? so, yeah. I guess, let's see what she's considered non-essential. Not only is this fun to make money and make videos, but it's also just kind of fun to like deep dive into somebody's brain, you know? And going through their stuff kind of allows you to do that. Well, dirty socks, I can agree there. That's not essential. Right. This here, what is that? What's in here? Come here. Oh, what is that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't it. know. So I'm just it's a it. <laughs> vibrator. It's a vibrator. Not that kind of vibrator that I'm just saying, but you know, it like vibrates. Vibrate. Yeah, it vibrates. That's a better way to put it. This here, these are all socks. So apparently, purses are unnecessary, and socks are unessential. A purse. Oh my That's god. That's a purse. Yeah. Let's see. This one's not essential purse. Now, what makes this one not essential? <laughs> I feel like it's worth like to twenty it. bucks. <laughs> Is it? No. Let's see. What's the brand on that? Duty and Burke. What the heck? That's not the non-essential oh box. No, this doesn't have a price tag on it, but it's a brand new Dooney and Burton purse. I say that's essential personally, but to each their own. What about the Target bag? This socks again. Let's see, let's dig down here. That was our second hand purse. Oh, here we go. No, what is this in here? Ugh. Is these sweaters new or something? Let's see. Oh, I think they are. Of course they are. Of course they are. Terry or Jerry or Terry Lewis. I'm gonna say Terry Lewis. Terry? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put that here. Terry! Remember the firework video? <laughs> Terry, what are you doing, Terry? This Back is, up, uh, Terry! One of the same thing, but a white version of it. Then if we dig deeper in here, it looks like the rest of it's pretty random, but obviously I'm gonna make sure that I search it very well before I just put it out at the yard sale. Nothing else really valuable in that box, but I just wanna say the size of this hat. I thought I had a big head. Like who is that going on, Stewie Griffin? Like this thing is <laughs> massive. My gosh, I've never seen a hat that's too big for my head. Like I, <laughs> I really have it. That is actually impressive. I just can't stop smiling right now. I'm in such a good freaking mood. Let's go to the next box. I was just saying before we cut the camera on, if I paid 2K and I pulled out this stuff so far we found, I would have been a happy camper. But the fact that it's less than 10% of the whole unit, oh my God. That's all I can say is, oh my gosh. Yeah. This is going to be a killer. How do you start 2024 off with a bang? Just like this, baby. With this unit and Broly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, are these more bags? Are these more bags? Let's see, hold on a second. Ugh, it might be. Well, these are, this is more like a tote bag, but the brand on it says Signature Club. That's, I don't know what you consider that one. This is, whoa, that's- perfect. Dust jackets are good usually. Dust jackets are great usually. That usually means it's gonna be a nice little piece in there. Like this bag right here. Brand spanking, it looks like this other one. So what was that brand? Uh, I already forgot. Wait, the expensive ones? Yeah. Like Patricia Nash? Patricia Nash, now this one says Sherry, right S-H-A-R-I. Yeah, there it is, that. Design in New York, but I mean, it's brand new. It's got the paper in it and everything, just in the bag. This is crazy. If you're not following us on whatnot, you better be, because we're about to be starting all these auctions off over the next month at a dollar. At a dollar. Three, four hundred dollar purses at a dollar. We're crazy. So here you go. This is brand new little bag right there. This one, oh, look at these. <laughs> Cute bag, huh? <laughs> yeah. This one, new. Uh, this one new, it's got a price tag on it. It's only 17 bucks on it, but still brand new. This guy here, $220 price tag on it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wilson's Genuine there Leather, go. right there. Brand new, unused. I said it earlier, this is what happens if you become a millionaire and you don't fix your brain before that, you know? Yeah. You still just have old spending habits. You still have the spending habits of a not millionaire. And then that, I don't know what it is. There's the brand, what does that say? Koala? or Kuaba, whatever it is, it's brand new. And then we have, oh, this guy, brand new. That right looks here. like the Patricia Nash. Nash. I'll say that looks oh. like the other one. Money, 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 money. 
Dala Dala. If you know where that song's from, put it in the comments. If you know. Hopefully don't copyright me, Shane. <laughs> this right here, uh, 50 bucks. New York, New York, brand new bag. And there's another brand new bag at the bottom here. This one is, let's see, the sack. You know, there's so many better names you could have came up with than the sack. <laughs> It's like, I can't be the only one. I think of other things when I hear this sack. But this one's also brand spanking new. Let's get this box out. This one says sewing machine. That's another thing that could be worth thousands or 50. No idea. There's so many variations of a sewing machine. But judging off this lady so far, something tells me she probably didn't buy a cheap one. Let's see. Ooh, it's in plastic and everything. Let's see. Come here, you. Ooh, this is heavy, huh? Ooh, yeah, that's pretty heavy. You see a brand or anything on it? Not on this side. Is it new? It's Brother, like the printer brand. They make sewing machines? I guess so. I didn't even know that. Huh, I only knew them with like printers. Let's see, get this off really quick. Come off, you stupid plastic. I just want to see the model number. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Okay, now there it is. Look at that, that looks nice, huh? Yeah. You see a model number it on does new. It's new. It is new because of this stuff still taped in oh there. But CS 7000i. Brother CS7000i sewing machine. It's about 240 bucks. And it's brand spanking new. Literally brand spanking new. $240 sewing machine. And it will be starting at a dollar an hour whatnot one time in the future. So make sure you're following. I got two options for you. We have our first like luggage bag. Or this box just says DIY supplies. Oh, a box. Box? Yeah. All right, all right. All right, you win. DIY, that, that's so broad. Doing what yourself? You know what I mean? Do it yourself is DIY, but what are you doing? There's so many things you could be doing, right? I guess we'll have to find out. Let's see. Oh, I see flashlights, first off. Let's see. Well, brand new task force flashlight kit. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little thing here. This? What's in here? Uh, oh, it's like the little things that go in the garage wall. What do they call it? Peg mounts. Those. Here. Tools. Tools. Let's see. Oh, there's some tape. Look at all that new tape. And I just dropped it. That's okay. All, right. all this new tape in here. Lots of brand new. Good stuff. Oh, there's a Crown Royal bag. Those are always interesting. If you watch cops, these are never good news. <laughs> Let's see what's in there. Uh, what is that? A wedge? Yeah, a door stopper. Why? Why did you put it in the Crown Royale bag? Okay, get in here. We got a lot of random stuff in here. And what's also like crafting? And maybe we'll do some crafting lots. A lot of crafting, uh, paint and stuff. And then what are these giant flashlights? Giant everyday flashlights. We'll probably sell these by themselves too because I know they're not cheap. This bag here is the luggage one we were just talking about. I don't know if it's brand new or if it's full of who knows what. Oh look, there's a tag. It looks like, what does it say? People to people? Uh, ambassador program. Ooh. So maybe this has been used and it's got some cool stuff in it. Just full of cash. That'd be nice, right? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, how does it open? Here's a big zipper. Let's go to the little one first at the front. We got to do it piece by piece. There it there is. Come here. I don't want to rip it because the back could be very expensive too. I'm not seeing nothing right here. Let's go to the big zipper. Where is it? Right here. Here and in... oh, it's not used. It's literally just new. It's got a matching laptop bag and everything in it. So what brand is this thing? That's the question. Is it just this? Like e-bags? Oh, e-bags? Shoot, maybe it's just brand new luggage. Luggage is not cheap at all. So you know what? I'll take it. You know that feeling when you just took a big chance and you've been waiting on it all day and you start realizing you made like an awesome decision? It's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Let's see about this one right here. This is a uh, that looks fancy. Samantha Brown is the brand on it. Let's see if it's new or if it's been used. This feels heavy, but also just you know, nitro quality stuff is just heavier. Yeah. So, ugh. I don't think I've ever bought a luggage bag. We always just find them in storage units and use them <laughs> yeah. until they break, and then yeah. have other ones. So let's see. Yeah. And where is the zipper to get onto the main into the main compartment? We literally oh. just replaced one because our yeah, broke. we did. From Look that. At uh, that. Whoa, come here. What is that? Oh, I thought that was a tag. And that's for identification for the bag though. But look at that, Samantha matching Brown. Purse? Matching purse? to okay. go with your brand new bag. Wow. Now this is to separate all the stuff in there. 
this is some high-end stuff like i'll have my underwear and my toothbrush <laughs> in the same container because that's how i travel but you know what maybe i'm just not this high sedity hey i want you to meet this really big fan of ours look say hi hi it's a really big fan uh, he was such a big fan, I decided I'd just throw him in the back of the truck with all the stuff that he took back there for hours. Okay, and, and be brought to our home. And be brought to our home and stuffed in our garage for who knows how long. So, <laughs> really dedicated fan. Let's go to this right here. Okay, I'm not even going to attempt to translate that to English. What does that say? Mm. <laughs> that. Whatever that is. Yeah, I keep looking at it. I don't know, right? Maybe it'll make sense eventually. Oh. What? It looks like it looks like it said organizer to me. I don't know what this means or that does. But. This looks like an organizer. This right here. What does that say? Bathroom shower shelf. Okay, is that actually what it is? Yeah, man, they're on point with their labeling. I love that. So this is a little coffee container, but also could be used for organizing. This empty organizer. What's down here? That's the question. Is this a jewelry box? I don't know. What is it? Let's see what this guy is. Oh, right here. What are you? Oh, organizers. Very nice organizers. Okay, that's more yard sale type stuff. And this, ooh, what else is that? These look fancy, fancy, fancy. What's the brand on these? Lancome, L-A-N-C-O-M-E. That, let's see, are there anything in there? No, they're probably new as well, huh? Yeah. Everything's new in this unit, isn't it? Look just at that. About. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But other than that, yeah, this one's pretty much just organized. This is more yard sale stuff. Look at this one. Shoes I want. All right, shoes you want. Uh, this is number two. Oh, man. Look at that. That's only four boxes. Okay, we'll open these and see if they're new or not. Because I'm just curious at this point. Let's see. Cheats. Uh, fit body wedge bit. Brand new. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's try this one. Brand new. Oh, this one just fell out, but as you can see, brand freaking new. This is insane. Do they have a price tag on them? No, but they're new. I mean, we have to have 50 pairs of shoes in box already for this unit. This is crazy. This one, uh, does this have a price tag on it? No, but I'm gonna guess it's brand new. Uh, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't look like they've been worn. I feel like they got taken out of the box. Maybe somebody showed them off, but they like brand new as well. This is crazy. Hey, you want a nice orange and white blanket here? Uh, it's stuck to a hanger. I wish it would actually help, there's holes in it. Yeah, but they're <laughs> nice. A lot of people love those crocheted blankets. Yeah, so. no, they're nice. Those are cool. oh, let's go here. Let's see if it's more new. Come on, more new. Come on, more new. Ugh. This bag's not trying to rip. So it gets murdered dead. Take this, Michael Myers style. Okay, let's see. If this is new with tags, I'm gonna scream like a little girl. Is it? Please don't be, I don't wanna have to scream like a little girl. No, it's not, but it's still, oh, is it? No. This is buttons. Marvin Richards, okay. Well, it was that deal just for that one, not this next one. Let's pull out this guy here. Is this more the same? Get out. Look at that. Same brand, Marvin color. Richards, yep. Like you don't just go buy, she doesn't buy one of anything. You get like, you like this jacket, you're gonna get like every single color variation. This is the Jerry or Terry Lewis ones. And what about the fur one? Ooh, that looks nice. That looks nice. That's a Wilson Vintage USA, it says on it. That's definitely real leather. It's definitely worth money too. One more box until we get to go into the Tiffany shade box and Ooh. see if this is gonna go from a crazy jackpot to a super crazy jackpot, I guess. I don't even know. It's already a crazy jackpot. <laughs> it is. Be mad. But every single box that's been labeled so far has been labeled correctly. So that's a very good sign. Let's see what's in here. A bag. Okay. It's a mystery. I like it. Bag of what? Let's see what it is. I didn't even read the box. Now I can't see it. Well, we're about to find out. Let's see. Ugh. No way. More shoes. More brand new shoes. What the heck is going on in this unit? Brilliant. This is a brilliant buy. I agree. Are these brand new too? Of course they are. My gosh. Oh, these fell out. These are bear paw, but they fell out of their box somewhere. What are these ones? Uh, these are bear paw as well. So, look, there's one brand new pair here of bear paw, and then one 
smaller pair of beer ball. I guess those just doesn't don't have boxes because I don't see any. Then we got one more box in here. And this one is brand new, brand new pair of black shoes. Crazy. The grand finale. I've been so careful with this. This says top. It says Tiffany shade fragile pointing up. So oh. I'm assuming this is the top. The I've fact been, that all these boxes have been labeled correctly though. Yeah. Thoughts before you get it. It's open. gonna be in there. Yeah, I think, I think it's so gonna too. be like a not a hundred thousand dollar one. If I'm being honest, my guess is gonna be like a two three thousand dollar range, which should still be insane because I only paid two k for the whole unit. <laughs> I was about to say <laughs> we've already destroyed that so far. We've already destroyed what we paid. Uh, oh, it's well protected. Oh okay. man, this is no packing peanuts. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna stand it up. Let's stand it up. Say just be fragile. Okay, we're gonna treat it like it's a newborn baby. Yes. Yeah. We know how to handle those now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We have all this two weeks of experience now. <laughs> exactly. All right. Man, look at all these packing peanuts. We gotta save them. I don't even know what to do with them. You know what I'm gonna do? Hold on. This box right here. Yes. This okay. is what we're gonna do. We'll put as Usually many. I tilt it, but I don't even want to tilt it. So I'm gonna literally try to put this here and just shovel it and try not to make too much of a mess. That's all I can do. Help me out. Guys, if your heart rate's not up right now, you're doing something wrong. Uh, like putting these packing peanuts in the box is like the suspense. I know. This is scary. Uh, Diana, that. I don't know what that is, but let's see. I see the black. I see the black. Uh oh. Oh, I see the paper. I see the paper. You ready? You pull it out, man. Let's see. Come here. No. No, I'm not gonna try. It's still falling. It's still stuck a little bit. We're gonna clear a little bit more of this out. Let's that see. Corner. What? That corner. Let's see. I don't wanna take any risk of breaking this thing. It's too high potential value. Way too high. What about now? Oh, it's coming. Let's get a hand in there. Yeah, I can get my hand down there now. Come here. Alright, let's see what we have. <clears throat> Okay, now let's get this box out the way. This. There might be more in there though, so. No, I put my hand at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's see. What do we have here? What do we have? Oh, look at that. No, our light just died, really? That's okay. Really? Right now? Okay, what do we have? I mean, it's the right style, but is it actually Tiffany? Uh. I don't know. Do I don't tell? know. To, I don't know how to tell. Turn Doesn't it say over. anything on the inside. Doesn't say anything on the outside either. Hmm. That's a mystery. If this is real though, the only real way to sell this is to take it to like an auction, an auction house or something. House. Yeah. If you guys that are watching have any idea, make sure you let us know what you think in the comments because I'm really not sure. But I'm gonna make sure it stays very safe because that could be worth thousands of dollars if it's real. Look at you. Why are you looking at the camera like it's an alien technology, man. What is that what thing? What is it is. <laughs> what is that thing? Oh coming my out the womb, goodness. you have no idea what nothing is. Nope. That could be worth so much money. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and come back next time because we're going to do more of this storage unit. This is just the beginning. Until then, peace out.